Okay, so today we're gonna be breaking every single NFL record in Madden, actually just six of them, but still it'll be passing touchdowns, passing yards, receiving touchdowns and receiving yards, and also rushing touchdowns and rushing yards. I'm gonna do a random spin on play now, and we're just gonna try to beat him against the all Madden CPU. So let's see what happens. I don't know, this could take a while, but let's try to break every single record. So first, of course, passing yards and passing touchdowns. If we can get them both in the same game, that's cool. If not, we have to play them separately. But for passing touchdowns, the record, of course, is seven. So we have to get eight. Currently, the record is held by a bunch of different quarterbacks. Drew Brees has seven. Nick Foles did it one game. Peyton Manning, Joe Cap, Y.A. Tittle, George Blanda, and Adrian Burke have all gotten seven touchdowns in one NFL game. And as for passing yards, it will be 554 is the record. So we have to get 555. The current record was set in September of 1951. Norm Van Brock. Rockland as a member of the Los Angeles Rams passed for that mark against the New York Yanks. So that's what we're gonna have to do first. All right, so let's just do random teams here. We're gonna go random on play now, of course, all Madden. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna be the home team for every game. We'll take the Packers all day against the Washington football team. Yeah, give me that. Every single day of the week, it's probably the easiest thing you could have asked for because Aaron Rodgers has got gamblers. Once you complete, I think three passes it is um, that goes more than five yards, then Aaron Rodgers can't throw an interception. As long as you keep completing more passes, you should be fine. So that was actually probably the best role we could have got. Washington's all right. Chase Young's out for the year. So one of the best defenders isn't playing. And I think that's going to be a big dub. And also, folks, if you are new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button. Also, this Christmas, we reset NFL history. I'm so excited to bring this new series to the channel. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. So make sure to check back on Christmas for our reset of the NFL. The trailer for that series is in the description down below. So here we go. Basically, the game plan. I mean, we just had Aaron Rodgers do a jump throw to Devontae Adams. Basically, we just got to get the ball to Devontae Adams as many times as possible. Of course, we're trying to break that uh, Norm Van Brocklin passing record. If we keep throwing the football the entire game, we should be fine. I'm not planning on running the football. I'm planning on going for it every single fourth down as well. I think this should be fairly easy. I think the hard one's going to be rushing yards because if you're playing a team that has a really good run defense and they keep shutting down your run, you're in trouble. And especially say we get like, I don't know, the Jets and we have to run with Tevin Coleman or Ty Johnson or with uh, Mike Carter the entire game. We could be in trouble. But here, I mean, we can just do this all day. Rodgers going to the outside on the run, fighting Alan Lazard. And of course, we're hoping to knock out both touchdown passes and yards in the same game. So there will be number one. We need eight of them to Devontae Adams on the slant route. That should help the score. I don't really give a damn about either. We just need Washington to keep scoring as fast as possible or our defense keeps getting three and outs. So we're late now in the first quarter. It'll be a first and 10. Rogers going to lob one up to Devontae Adams. Adams has got it all the way down at the 41 yard line. Big player right there for Green Bay. Rogers again out the gun. We're going to look to throw to our right. It's going to be Mercedes Lewis. Yeah, somehow that guy's still in the NFL. But we've got 126 passing yards. This will be the last play most likely of the first quarter. Rogers going to Allen Lazard. You're going to see a lot of this. This one's probably going to take the longest to get, but we've got 146 yards after a quarter. Looking pretty good. Looking for touchdown number two here on a third and goal. Rogers taking a deep drop back and... Okay, wasn't looking for that, but that one will be picked off. Again, we're just trying to get yards, touchdowns as an added bonus. We can always go back and do a different game with the touchdown passes, but here in a second and two, we're gonna look to our right. We've got MVS Marquez Valdez Scantling down to the 44 yard line. We've now got 170 passing yards in this game. Second inches on a boot to the right. Rogers gonna let one fly. We've got Alan Lazard again. Lazard down to the four yard line. It gets us to 224 passing yards. Now in a second goal, we finally got our gamblers, so we can just start forcing balls downfield this time it will go to mercedes lewis that'll be touched down at number two and again it adds on to that yards tally if you cared we're taking the lead that's fine it'll be 14 13 for green bay we get the football back it's a fourth and nine but again we're gonna go for it because we don't give a damn about the score so this time we're going to st brown to the two yard line rogers with 248 yards now looking for touchdown number three on a first and goal rogers to his left he's got his running back out of the backfield it is aaron jones that'll be a touchdown and it'll be touchdown number three for Rodgers it puts us up by eight and now we get it back here from around 26 yard line still four minutes to go in the second quarter so we're making really good pace right now Rodgers to MVS in the drag route will now take us to 262 passing yards on a first and 10 again Rodgers looking to throw just to get the ball to Devontae Adams it's the connection these two have been building for the longest time Rodgers to Adams will get us down to the 32 again adding on to that yards total it'll be a first and 10 for Rodgers 
play action fake looking to throw Aaron Rodgers over the middle wide open it is Alan Lazard he's been target number two in this game Rodgers now at 314 and we haven't even hit halftime so we're well on pace on a second and ten Rodgers dumps it off to Aaron Jones and Aaron Jones will get in for touchdown number four so halfway through for touchdowns we're over halfway for yards looking really good actually to beat both these records let's see if our defense can get us the football back before the end of the half and they will actually because Washington scores so quickly it's all right we get it back on a first and ten there is a dime Rodgers to MBS down to the 49 yard line setting up now for a third and 17 though Rodgers taking a deep drop back he'll just get to Mercedes Lewis Lewis will be down at the 44 yard line but uh, hey we're gonna go for it on fourth down because Kind of have to. Fourth and three. Rodgers dropping back. Looking to throw. He has got his tight end. It is DeGuara. And DeGuara has got the Packers down the 24-yard line. Rodgers now at 401 yards before the end of the half. Looking for more here on a play action fake. Rodgers going to give it back to Aaron Jones. Jones getting to the outside. We have no timeouts, so he'll step out of bounds at the 12. Rodgers now at 413. Looking for touchdown number five with 10 seconds to go. Aaron Rodgers to Mercedes Lewis. It's Lewis's second touchdown of the game, and Rodgers is fifth we are well over 400 yards and really only need about what like 130 to break the record now looking really good now we have the football back in the second half it'll be a first and 10 for Rodgers from his own 25 don't know why I kept that one in the video. Uh, it's going to be a pick six. Probably, yep, okay, Rodgers can't tackle. That's all right. It's going to be a pick six for Washington. That's cool, though, because we get the football back now even quicker because of that interception for a touchdown. Again, we don't give a damn about the score, and we're still on top by eight. So a first and 10 for Rodgers from his own 38. Look into Mercedes Lewis. Lewis breaking off one tackle. will break off two tackles. Staying on his feet, Mercedes Lewis going to get to the 48-yard line. Rodgers now at 465 as we are halfway through the third quarter. It'll be a first and 10 for A-Rod. Looking, taking a shot to Aaron. Aaron Jones somehow that ball is caught into the 28 we will take it now 485 yards for Aaron Rodgers first and 10 he's got his gambler so now we can take as many risks as we want there though we'll just dump it off to Aaron Jones Jones got an easy first down at down to the 11 yard line Rodgers now eclipsed that 500 yard mark he's got 501 just need about 50 more and on a third and two we're looking for touchdown number six Rodgers oh my goodness Mercedes Lewis is just I, that's incredible. He's bailing us out to the max. Hall of Fame bailout badge right there because Mercedes Lewis is carrying us. We've got six touchdowns. We come back and we're down by three. Don't ask me how this happened. We're going to go to Mercedes Lewis here in a fourth and two. We've had just... Yeah, we have five interceptions. Don't want to talk about it. We are 16, or I think, actually, excuse me, 12 yards away from breaking the record. Rodgers to MVS. Is that going to do it? It's not. We need three more yards to break the record. We're in danger of losing the game, and we got to hurry up if we're going to get that touchdowns record going to who else to break the yards record. Rodgers to Mercedes Lewis. It gets us down to the 45-yard line now. A second and 10 for Rodgers dropping back. Look at who has left. We got to go to a more. Devontae Adams down to the 17. 590 yards now for us. Looking for the end zone, though. Rodgers on a first and 10. Scrambling to his right. Aaron Rodgers on the run. He's got Alan Lazar. So Lazard gets us touchdown number seven. We need one more to break that record. We've already got the yards record in the bag. And now we get the football back from the five-yard line trying to break the touchdown record as well after we turn over the football team. And Rodgers to Lewis one more time. That will get us touchdown number eight. And that will do it here from Lambeau Field. We will win this one by a score of 56 to 45. Again, that doesn't matter. What only matters is that we broke the touchdowns record. We broke the passing yards record. And now we are done doing any type of challenge with our quarterbacks Rodgers 633 yards eight touchdowns rather not talk about those five interceptions so that will do it for our quarterback challenge got the job done pretty easy on to the next so now we've got rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. The rushing touchdown uh, record is six from Alvin Kamara. He just got it last year on Christmas against the Minnesota Vikings. And for rushing yards, the record right now is 296. Adrian Peterson set that mark in 2007, of course, with the Minnesota Vikings. So those are our two goals now with our rushing yards and touchdowns. Okay, so let's see who our team is. Of course, random here, like a team with a good running back. And oh, okay. That works. I wonder how that happened. Okay, the Titans versus the Jets. Wow. Random. Okay, um, we're taking on the New York Jets now. Of course, we have Derrick Henry. I kid you not, this is actually random, though. I thought I was going to have to use um, Dante Foreman, or I thought I was going to have to use Hilliard, or Jeremy McNichols, but luckily... We can use Derrick Henry. I just activated him from the um, non-active roster. So, yeah, we're just going to be doing this all game. So, I mean, 
we're not throwing the football. It's just going to be Derrick Henry, run, 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 and run some more. He's probably the best guy I do this with in the entire game just because he's got speed, he breaks tackles, and this is just what we do with Derrick Henry. So, honestly, I mean, and it's the Jets, too. The Jets' run defense is pretty bad. He's going to run down to the 39-yard line. We're still on our first drive, and Derrick Henry's got 47 yards. Now we are on to our second drive, but still, Henry's just going to be running over the entire New York Jets franchise. We got 68 yards in one quarter. I think that's pretty good. We're on pace. Actually, no, we're a little bit below pace right now, but... As long as we break off a couple runs, we should be fine. And as soon as this happens, as soon as we get Henry's X Factor, it's going to be really hard to stop him. Because the only way we lose that is if we run for negative yards, which hopefully shouldn't happen. So Henry now with 113. But this game is going by really quickly. We're already down to the two-minute warning. It'll be a second and seven to Henry. He's going to break a couple tackles. So he'll get down to the 14-yard line. I think we're averaging like seven yards a carry now. Second and six for Henry again, running over a man down to the four. He's got 139 rushing yards. Trying to get the touchdowns record, but we're probably not going to get it considering we just got into the end zone for the first time. And yeah, I don't think we're going to get seven touchdowns. So we have one and a half. Really looking to get this rushing yards record though, because I think if we're ever going to get it, it's going to be with Henry. So we've got 176 yards on 30 plus carries. Again, who cares? We're just going to keep doing this. The Jets can't stop it. Right there, we're going to get over midfield down to the 42 yard line, 198 rushing yards now. For Derrick Henry, gonna be over 200 with this one. Yeah, get out the way. Derrick Henry up the middle, getting a gain of 14 yards. He's got 212 now on a first and 10. I wonder what we're gonna do now. Head it off to Derrick Henry up the middle. Henry gonna pick up eight yards. He's got 219 now, getting very close to the record on a second and three. Henry still fighting his way for the first down. He'll have 224. Um, now here on a third and three, it'll be a halfback draw to who else? Derrick Henry up the middle. He will get touchdown number two. Again, the touchdowns record is not what we are looking to achieve in this specific game, but those yards will help. We are now at 14 to six, getting the football right back on a first and 10. Give it to Derrick Henry to the outside. Henry gonna run over a man, maybe break the record right here. He won't. But he's at 258, so we are, what, 42 yards away right now. It'll be a first and 10 handoff. Give it back to Henry. Up the middle, Derrick Henry fighting his way down to the 42-yard line. It's been this the entire game here. First and 10, we're giving it back to Henry. Unfortunately, we lost a yard in the play, so no longer does he have X Factor, but he's got 286 yards. He needs 11 more to break the record. Here in a second one, he's gonna get closer. It'll be done in the fourth quarter. He's got 294, of course, Three yards will do it right here. And Derrick Henry has the record now with what? 302 rushing yards. Absolutely nuts. We'll try to get in the end zone too here in a second and two. Derrick Henry up the middle. He's in. So we go up 21 to six, up by 15 points now. Looking pretty damn good for the Titans to win this game. We're also looking to get more yards here just to make this record unbeatable. So on a first and 10, we give it to Derrick Henry to the outside. Henry's got the speed as well. He's off to the races. Get out the way. Derrick Henry takes it 69 yards to the end zone. It is all Henry here tonight. The record is going to be insurmountable at this point. The Titans up 28 to six. We've got about three minutes left. Derrick Henry with 412 rushing yards. Nuts. Looking for even more right there. He'll get to 424 of them. Given on 50 plus carries, but I don't give a damn. On a second and four, we give it back to King Henry. Derrick Henry down the two yard line. Let's get him in the end zone here on a second and goal. Derrick Henry got it. So he'll finish with five touchdowns, which is good. But of course we need seven to break that record that Alvin Kamara currently does have, but still it was all Titans in this game. And we'll check off that rushing yards record. No longer does Adrian Peterson hold that. It is now Derrick Henry's with over 400 rushing yards. We'll get that exact tally in just a few seconds right here um and right Tannehill did enough to do anything like every Titans game only 13 passing yards for Tannehill yeah 468 rushing yards for Derrick Henry five touchdowns absolutely insane so now we're going to try to break that rushing touchdowns record in the Texans okay yeah there I I didn't see that did you I don't know Chiefs Raiders Texans, I, don't, I never heard of her. All right, we're taking on the Las Vegas Raiders now in this game. We are the Kansas City Chiefs. I think this one's pretty simple because really we can use the passing game now. We're gonna use Patrick Mahomes a lot. We're gonna use Tyree Kill a lot. And then once we get to the goal line, we're just gonna use Clyde Edwards-Hilaire because I think CEH is gonna be our guy for this. So we're just gonna be running the Chiefs offense. Like stuff like this, jet touch passes to Tyree Kill, getting us down into the goal line range or just, you know, first goal opportunities, goal to go opportunities. It's gonna work. So second and eight, we go to uh, Nicole Hardman. He's gonna do a little 
little jet celebration. Oh no, we've been tripped down at the two yard line because I wonder who we're going to now. First and goal, it's his first carry of the game. Clyde Edwards Alaire, hopefully the first of seven. He's into the end zone and the Chiefs will go up seven to three. So we'll get the football back now from our own 44 yard line. Trying to get the ball again. Close to where Clyde Edwards Alaire can just punch it in. So right here, Tyree Kills gonna take it to the house. Oh, never mind, he slipped. Oh, I wonder what happened there. Oh no, it'll be a first and goal, a second goal now for Kansas City. I wonder who we're giving it to. Clyde Edwards Alaire, give him number two. So we need five more now in this game as CEH gets into the end zone. It will now be 14 to three. We will get the football back now from the Las Vegas 37 yard line. You know the drill. Patrick Mahomes is gonna scramble to his right, looking to throw. He'll dump it off to Tyree Kill. Hill gonna make a move. He'll get down to the 20 yard line. So we're now back in the red zone here for a third and two. And hey, we're actually gonna try to run the football here from the 12 yard line. Edwards Alaire, oh my goodness, get off of him. Is that Derrick Henry or Clyde Edwards Alaire? He's got six carries for 11 yards. But now in a second and goal, they accidentally, or, you know, Madden put in uh, Williams, so I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to step out of bounds of the one-yard line. Mahomes gets in the end zone. Great. Awesome. So we just, you know, sold a drive right there. It's all right. We're still looking for five more touchdowns out of our guy, Clyde edwards alaire It'll be a second and two now for Mahomes. From his own 28-yard line, just going to heave one deep. Ah, screw it. Demarcus Robinson down there somewhere. Oh, I don't know. He's going to step out the two-yard line. What a coincidence. So I wonder what's going to happen now. Uh, first and goal for the Chiefs offense. Second and goal, Mahomes handoff. CEH gets in. Barely untouched. Barely touched. Whatever. He gets in the end zone. Touchdown numero tres for the Kansas City Chiefs. It's 28-3. to three. That score looks familiar. And the Raiders turn over the football with five seconds left so on a third and four we run it that's an actual like really good run right there with three seconds left in the half ceh goes 14 yards into the end zone it's a big one for us because it's his fourth touchdown of the game and now we only need three more in one half so we get the football back here mahomes gonna heave one up that was supposed to go to Tyree Kill, but Mahomes' lock it ends up in the hands of Demarcus Robinson. Robinson's got it down to the 25-yard line. We might break the passing record in this one as well. Second and 15, handoff to CEH. Edwards and Lair are going to get down to the 7-yard line, give him a gain of 11. Now it's a first and goal. We're going to toss it to the left. Edwards and Lair are going to break off a tackle. He will break off another one, and he gets in. So it's his fifth of the game. We only need two more now with about a quarter and a half left to play, if I do believe. Yeah, so we're up 42 to 3 again. The game's out of hand at this point. We can just start doing this again, giving the ball to CEH. He'll pick up a first down. At the beginning of the game, we couldn't even do this. So Edwards Lair, 16 carries, 82 yards with five touchdowns. We're going to give it back to him here on a first and 10. Up the middle, there goes Edwards Lair down to the 15 yard line. He's got 93 yards now on a third and goal. Give it back to him, and he will get him for touchdown number six. So we only need one more out of Clyde Edwards Lair with a quarter left to play. Looking pretty good. It's now 17 to 49. Don't ask how that happened, but here on a counter play, we're going to get Clyde Edwards Lair to the outside. CEH going to get all the way down to the 21 yard line. Again, yards don't don't matter but he's got 112 of them and here on a third and goal he's gonna punch it in one more time from the one yard line it feels like we've done that a million times just punching it in from the one yard line but hey we will break the record here kind of mickey mouse because we just used the offense we just used the patrick mahomes uh passing game to really get us to the one yard line every single time but hey Clyde edwards lair did all the work from the goal line and i didn't know this graphic existed in madden didn't know this was a thing, but that's kind of cool. Hopefully they show that more. I don't know. Probably it's only in play now, but the final stat line for Clyde Edwards Alaire, 127 yards, seven touchdowns, and we've officially broken Alvin Kamara's rushing touchdown record. And finally, we have receiving yards and receiving touchdowns. So the receiving touchdowns record is at five. Um, three different receivers have gotten it in the past. Jerry Rice once got it with five. Uh, Kellen Winslow had five. And then Bob Shaw, back with the Chicago Cardinals, got it back in 1950. As for receiving yards, it's a lot. 336. Flipper Anderson got it once with the Los Angeles Rams against the New Orleans Saints in 1989. That might be the toughest one yet. So that's what we have to do. We have to get 337 yards and we have to get six touchdowns with one single receiver. Again, this all depends on the team. And yeah, perfect. The Bills. I mean, like this is the ideal team and we're playing the Texans. Bingo. Not going to lie. I had the Colts against the Raiders. I had to play that one before this. I tried playing this with Michael Pittman. It didn't really work. Tried to get it with the family man and Pittman. 
Carson Wentz just wasn't very good. So this is our second attempt at this. Bills versus Texans, I think we're gonna get it because this one should be pretty easy because Josh Allen has got a skate artist. You'll see in a second here, Allen can get out the pocket so easily. And of course, Stephon Diggs is receiver one here in Buffalo. It should be all day against a really bad Texans secondary. So just on that play, we're gonna get all the way down to the 30 yard line. Of course, we need the six touchdowns and we need a crap ton of yards with Diggs as well, but we should be able to get it pretty easily because we can just keep doing this. I mean, scramble the outside, there's number one. So easy. We should be able to get both records in this one game just because how good Josh Allen is in this one and Stephon Diggs as well. So it's touchdown number one. We'll take it back here from the 20 yard line. Second and 10 for Allen. Scrambling to his right, just trying to get it to Diggs any way possible. I mean, look at that. That's so stupid. But EA Sports, if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's going to work. First and 10 again for Buffalo. We are only throwing to Diggs. So when you see Josh Allen's um, passing yards total, it will be Diggs' receiving total as well. So 96 now. For both of them, it will be a first and 10 from the 48. Allen scrambling to his left on the run. Of course, dead eye over to Stephon Diggs. Diggs could take it all the way down to the 13. He's got 131 just halfway through the first quarter. It will be a first and 10. Allen looking on the go route. Stephon Diggs gets number two as Allen will thread the needle. We have now got our second touchdown of the game. We're up 14 nothing. More of the same here later on in the first quarter. It will be a first and 10 for Allen out the gun. I mean, I'll be honest with you. This is the easiest one. Look, look how dumb this is, but it works. Cross body, cross field. Diggs catches that ball from Josh Allen. You've got it all the way down the 32 yard line, 183 in one quarter for these two guys. The tough record is going to be the touchdowns, but I think we're going to get it. Here in the second 10, it's a comeback route. Going to Diggs again down to the 14. We've got 202 in the first quarter. It'll be a second and 10. Allen dropping back, looking over the middle. He's got Stephon Diggs. Give him touchdown number three. And now what? 220 receiving yards, I do believe, all in one quarter against the Texans. I think this one's going to be pretty damn easy. So we're like give or take, I think 110 receiving yards away, but we just got 220 in one quarter. So first and 10, we can do stuff like this all the time. It gets pretty boring eventually, but when you're trying to break a record like this, sort of fun, I guess. We're gonna pick up 25 yards down in midfield. It'll be a second and 10 now for Allen. He's got his X Factor. He'll get it to Diggs in the curl route. Diggs is off to the races. Oh, they're gonna catch him at the 14 yard line. All right, it will be a first and 10 again for the Bills offense. Josh Allen dropping back, going back to Stephon Diggs, who's now got his X Factor, which I think is rack him up, so it doesn't do much, but we've got 288 receiving yards now for Diggs. Second goal for Allen, dropping back slant route. He's got Diggs again, so touchdown number four between the two. We only need two more touchdowns in about, I mean, what, like 30 more receiving yards? We're getting close, we're getting real close. It'll be a second and 10 now for Buffalo from the 40. Here it goes, a deep shot to Stephon Diggs, and I think that's gonna do it for receiving yards. Oh my goodness, I taunted way too early. So I guess we're gonna be sticking around for a little bit longer than I would have liked to, because we just cost ourselves a touchdown. So first and 10, we're back with it here. Basically the same spot, Allen gonna scramble to his left. Heave it up, Stephon Diggs, he's got it. He already broke the record, I think, with that last catch previous, but still, we're down to the 11 yard line looking for touchdown at number five. Allen on the slant route to Diggs, give him number five. We are one touchdown away until we break every single record here, or at least the important ones on offense. It'll be a first and 10 for Buffalo. Diggs going on that, I guess, curl route kind of comeback. He'll get down to the 45 yard line, 401 receiving yards now for Stephon Diggs. And here on a second and 10, he'll just shed off a defender on the go route, 42 two yard touchdown to the house for Stefan Diggs and that will do it. We're just gonna sim out the rest of this game because I don't wanna be here all night throwing go routes to Stefan Diggs. So we got 443 yards with him and six touchdowns that will easily break the receiving yards record and it will break the touchdowns record as well. Over hundred yards of Flipper Anderson's record of 336 set with the Los Angeles Rams back in the eighties. And folks, that'll do it here for our video here, breaking all the NFL offensive records. Again, the important ones, the ones that a lot of people care about in a single game. We got them all done here in this video. If you wanna see more stuff like this, I can do defense, even though I don't think that'd be personally as fun but we could do it if you want and again we've got our brand new series coming out though christmas day resetting nfl history that series should be so much fun so be on the lookout for that and a whole lot more here on the channel give a thanks for watching make sure that subscribe button down with more and mamba forever